A Nairobi-based scholar has said the global food and energy crisis benefits the U.S., which seeks to maintain hegemony. Well, I think to a large extent, uh, I would say that uh, the U.S. Is, is certainly benefiting from the oil crisis that, that uh, we have uh, today. There's shortage. Uh, there's just people who are manipulating, taking advantage of the situation when the, the, the price is, is, is high. If the world is trading in the dollar, then it means that any sanction on, on, on Russia benefits uh, uh, the U.S. and it benefits the agricultural production. The balance of trade, you know, essentially is skewed towards the U.S. Because what, what, what happens is that with the oil crisis and the sanctions on Russia, it is a dollar that is becoming a lot more stronger. And with a stronger dollar, it means that the U.S. gets some sort of a leverage on most of the countries that it is trading with. And to a large extent, then, uh, if the crisis continues, then they can pump in more resources in the agricultural production and essentially just reap from that by feeding the world. Well, I think uh, the whole idea of the food crisis globally is fairly nuanced. I mean, there are so many factors uh, that, that, that are involved, you know. Uh, but in a sense, it it's basically builds into that narrative of the U.S. hegemony.